What's up, guys? It's uh, Saturday. I got a call from a old friend of mine. He said that his uh, heat is not working, so I'm gonna go over there and see what's going on. Um, somebody told me it's a gas pack uh, rooftop furnace. That's what you guys call it. Um, so I'm gonna go over there and see what's going on. He said he had some work done to it over the summer. Uh, ever since then it just hasn't really worked the same so I guess it got them through the summer so uh, yeah we'll see what's going on over there uh, see if we can't get his heat work in since now I guess it's cold enough to keep your heat here in Arizona it's hot still to me but uh, you know I'm wearing a sweater this morning it's like uh, man, like 42 degrees this morning so um, it's a little chilly so I guess they want to use it at night. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's get over there and see what's going on with it. It is indeed an old ass gas pack. Real quick. Mess this up. All right, guys, I figured out the issue here. So here's what I can uh, come up with best. This dual cap here, which looks like it's probably the original one, looks like this side probably controlled the indoor fan, and this side controlled the inducer fan, and then this is our common. So what I notice is this is a rescue motor under here, brand new. So yeah, this replaced over the summer. <coughs> there wasn't even a common, this is my wire here. There wasn't even a uh, common wire, which again, this one's mine just for testing purposes. There wasn't even a common wire coming into the cap. So of course it's not gonna power the motor up. So I'm gonna take this, plug it into L2. Whoever put in this rescue motor didn't know how to wire up this cap. So I'm going to put a new regular this, uh, single four mic spare cap and actually anchor these caps in.
running. Everything's running by the thermostat. Gas pressure's good. So we're gonna let it run a little bit. Uh, see if I can't do something with the situation. So, uh, yeah, got it looking much better, much safer. Had to get a uh, contractor on here, the other one was burned up. So, uh, yep. All right, so just finished up that, uh, that job there with that gas pack, and uh, what uh, what was up there was not pretty. Um, somebody changed out the uh, old blower motor, and uh, obviously had no idea how to even hook up a simple capacitor um, to get that induced fan motor running or. Maybe they didn't know that that's, uh, that capacitor went to induce a fan motor, who knows, but uh, that was just ugly and unsafe. There was actually, I didn't film it, but there was actually a uh, um, high voltage wire that was hooked up to the board that I'm guessing went to uh, one of the fan speeds on the old motor, but it was just cut off, um, you know, in the fan uh, motor housing area. And um, it was hooked up to the board, and when I stuck my hand in there, my arm brushed up against it, and I got a good little wake-up call, a nice little 120 volt shock. So uh, whoever he had working on that thing before was uh, really not good at what they did. Um, hack job all the way. Um, I mean, it was totally unsafe. So we got it running, uh, cleaned up. The uh, cap took out all the high voltage wiring that was there that didn't need to be there. Um, Check the gas pressures, that looks good. Um, so he's up running safe. All we did have to change that contact route. Um, that was pretty, the old one was pretty burnt up. So uh, change that out for him. So that was a fun morning call. It took about two hours, and that's including having to go get some parts. So uh, yeah. Fun little morning call. So, alright guys, talk to you later.